smoke in the air, you're not going to get much of this beautiful southern Utah scenery today. We've got a big old wildfire up in California, or a whole bunch of them, I should say. So thank you, California, for all of the smoke. We'll take it, I guess. You guys are suffering, we're going to get your smoke. Either way, thanks for coming along for the ride today. We're headed out to Warner Valley to gather up a side-by-side, -side and I think we got one with a broken ball joint and one with a belt that's missing, so we'll get over there and got the little aluminum tilt bed trailer with the Cherokee. We're bombing across SR7 around Sand Hollow, and we'll take you along for the ride. Well, we're over here. We're working our way in. Victor just ran into him. He's going to come up, and I'm going to follow him into where we're headed. Got a lot of smoke in the air today, and we'll see where we end up. So this is the one that has the busted up wheel, and yeah, then where's the other one at? The other one is on the in this the same street, but that one. Should we go get it and bring it back to this point first? But that's the only way you, we can... Well, we could stop right here and unload it. And oh, then okay. load yours and then maybe just tow it. Okay. You want to try that? Do the right, I don't know. <laughs> Him and his buddy come out last night or Saturday, whenever it was, and they broke a belt on one and ripped the suspension off another, and they were having a good old time. So we're gonna double dip today. We're gonna get Victor and his buddy out of here. So what happened there, Victor? Well, I don't know. It was fun, but as soon as we got broke the, the racer, it was not fun. <laughs> so how did you get out of here? Well, I tried to pull my racer, uh, my buddy's racer, with my racer, and then I feel it was too strong for my racer to pull it up. So I was driving over all the way up here and then I got broke. <laughs> and it was a funny thing, it was broke and that's it. And then you took your Shubaroos? Yeah. And you had to walk? And I had to walk. <laughs> so and it was like 100 and 108. Uh, it was hot. With so, no water, with no water, except just cigarettes, and that's it. So but, we're, uh, we're having a good time chatting on the way in here and uh, Victor, wanted to jump on and tell you his story and redeem himself. So he's been having fun with this side by side. He's uh, second or third time out. So he hasn't gave up on the sport yet, but. Yeah, we're not gonna give up. We're gonna buy me a Jeep like this one. I think this one is the best one. <laughs> yeah, so we got him converted over to Cherokee cause it's a uh, 98 degrees. We've got the air conditioning cranked and we're just working our way in here nice and easy. You guys know I'm probably full of it when I tell you that, but. We got lots to do today and a couple other pending calls, so we'll get these two taken care of. And what do you say, Victor? Who do you call when you need off-road recovery? Casey, man. Are we?
have to say for yourself? It was the best experience. <laughs> yeah, a, a good and a bad. <laughs> yeah, he, he said his wife's happy he's alive, but she's mad that he spent all the money. All right, well, we got those out of there. It was kind of a project. We had to go in and get the first one that had a bad belt and a screwed up clutch. So we loaded him on the trailer and hauled him down. And of course, I haven't had time to fix my trailer yet, so I ripped the guts out of it like I thought was happen. So we brought it down to the main road, offloaded it onto Oscar's trailer, and we headed back up in there to get Victor's buggy. And he'd broken the rear suspension, so he kind of helped us drive it while we were winching it up on the trailer and got it loaded. And we're going to take it over to St. George and drop it off at Candle Motorsports, and he'll get that baby back on the road again, on the trail again. So. That was a pretty good little job for a Monday afternoon, and we sure appreciate you guys uh, supporting the channel and doing all everything you're doing to help us grow and make it worthwhile. So thanks for coming along for the ride. Maybe dinner too? Well, I never get dinner either.